Hello and welcome back to our playthrough. Pillows of Eternity 2, Dead Fire. We killed the grub and turned in the mission and get some colors from it. Now we're gonna go sell a bunch of stuff. Then we will figure out what to do. There's a birth. Yep, go to the queen's birth. Uh oh. You hear a set of heavily armored footsteps out a nearby alley. Uh oh. Now our streets in the neighborhood are largely deserted. Echoes of heavily armored footfalls carry down cobbled lanes. Just around the corner reveals an aging meadow folk man garishly dressed out of a dear wooden noble. Fingers, damnation, I told you, Constance was not the right street, sir. Oh, he's drunk. When. Oh, you're gonna have up full by Margaret Slain. Okay, a thousand ducks. Uh, approach the group. Well, do we? Maybe we can help. I don't know. That's your job to be put on with a farm thought in their head. Jack has to directions. Got a coin. You have a thousand gold prices. Draw your way. Oh, let's give them direction. Wow, it's got to be Edder. You have enough. All right. Oh, and offers a small bag of gold coins. 15 golden sole. You know how much? Queen's birth. Voice calls out to you from an alleyway. Never fails. Ikataka's poor districts post more dark than... The streets and alleys, only housing many who want to know. As you pass by one of these alleys, it falls out. Turn to see a hand fold out from the darkness. Now, palm bounces a figurine, more silhouette, statue in the light. Try to get a clearer look, the fingers fold back up. Magic the world. Someone just beasts to harry your enemies. Maybe even a pinch. Sitting is dangerous. Say the life's worth a few silver. Torch like glints in the stiff. Want follow the withdraws into the darkness. The only cut is no man trinket. There, oh, enter the tunnel. The alley. It's probably an ambush, but I am confident in our ability to fight our way out of it. Thanks for the tunnel entrance. Archway. On this side, a group of principe hold torches and blades. Bodies stuffed the corners. Eyes dry. Oh, right in the flickering flame. Some of them hang down. Others. I'm strange, strangely in. I had set out a little cheat. Alright. Silly. Silly. Don't seem to know who I am. 2 4. Uh, what ability will I use? Oh! Ooh. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, it's a flick of your fingers to call forth essence to rob them of their ambush and attack. They started it. I'm finishing it. Oh, I kind of wish it had something more interesting than blinding them. Like you summon the souls of the dead. That scares the bejeebus out of them. Melee, range, oh, oh. range, range. Let us end this. <laughs> that. Why is she stealth? Get in there. On multiple. Why are you stealth? Paladin, cutthroat. Paladin first. All the rain. Glory beta gone. Yeah, we're fine. A little closer with my chanter, and we're gonna cast a nice old parrot. Finish them. Now we're gonna focus the paladin. Doing fine. Has no AOE. 
Eternal Devotion. Stick with our attack. Here's some thugs. In on my butt. Oh no you don't, you're going there. Oh, someone blew up. Paladin's ticket. Oh. Okay, this is a mess. Two. Got some AoE. We can toss down with that. See you, must me too. I reap what I sow. All right, that Paladin is in. Melee. Let's switch to melee attacks. At least, yep. Go to the paladin first. Oh, he blew up. Oh, that is disgusting. All right. Ranged attacks. Eye on. Hey on by herself. Ooh. Oh, does it matter? She. Oh. Dog. Nice. Brave hound. Alright. I shall. There is anyone to rescue. Oh, that's out. Ready to brawl. Is a random chanter. Think you got the decency to die. Is dead. Up to here. Oh, that out. Nothing, no one to rescue. Alright. Hide again, Queen's birth. Get any closer. Alright, finally. Alright, so let's head over to this guy. We took no reputation loss from the principal. So, whatever. <sighs> right. Behold, Aethys is Thank risen you. again. He is glorious okay. in form and purpose. Aethys is a walking mount of Adra that could kill us all. And deal with that. All right. You again? Ugh. All right. Are selling one of those daggers, souls, aquabus. I'm gonna keep the shield. I'm going to sell the paroga. On exceptional, gone. On shields, gone. Thunderbuss, Agabo, Dagger, Sword, Flail, Saber, Crossbow, Armor. Unless it says exceptional. Or is yellow. Getting sold. Other. Hood and ape. Trap. Green. Cinder bombs. I'm not using potions. Oh, so tempted to sell potions. Oh, we've got enough. We can buy a Dow. Let's. Inventory. So, active. Let's. I can't. Oh, sorry. That's wrong thing. No matter what, there's standard. I assume it doesn't come with anything. Uh, if 
I just click over. Nope. Brew does not carry over, so you there. Wow, three cannons. All right. So, first thing we need is our colors. Hull and the sail. Um, hmm. I need. Oh, well, it came with helms and that sort of thing. That's not. And I hope we have enough. All right, so let's do medium, medium, long, long. Right? To 500, yeah. So we're missing something short range. That's okay. More food that we can stack. The fruit. Hard tack and water as emergency ration. Good there. Now the crew. The surgeon. Go there. Hook. We've got two. Go there and be a helmsman, which is interesting. A boat swing. There, I don't know what boat swing. Boat swing. There. Right, and now we need deck hand. The cannoneer. In, uh, oh, oh, oh. You can be a navigator. I like the idea of an imp navigator. It's a thing. Here, you're only a deckhand. Put you there for now. Can't hold my navigator. Okay, so you are at end. Be a deck. Go there. Navigator deck. Working on. It. You can go there. Cook a deckhand. Another one. Helmsman on cannoneer. We do another one. Surgeon or Cook our deckhand. Alright, so we have enough room. Could use a backup few other things. Gonna do. Boom! Health mode. Oh. And now we can do some more bounty hunting. I think that is the goal. Rack up some bounty. Not on galleons, we can handle anything up to a dow. We're just gonna ramble. Upgrade. Wanna get any upgrades? A f Ooh, 20. So we've got 10 days worth of food and water. Alright. The backup. You know, the backup cannoneer wouldn't? Wait on a higher one. Now we're up a level ship level. Let me quick save. And... Bounty. Junk, junk ships. One anchor. Uh -oh. Looks like we can now deal with going to some new ear. Let's look at the Wara crown of it. And we're looking at that one. Bounty. Galleon. Can I handle a galleon yet?
Her Island. What's there? Right. On the second floor of the house. All right. Stuff to do back in town. Um. Let's finish up everything in the area. Overlook again. We can't water shaper. Now we oh, 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 wow, they're um. Naked. Cool. Yep, more naked people. Whoa! Lots of naked random. Okay, fair enough. Where? That's a arrow. Wait, isn't that who we're looking for? I hope we haven't spent too much time in the baths. Fine, I don't work here. I see. My thanks for clearing that up. In any case, we hope you enjoy your time. The bathhouse. I am helping Herwina to conceive. Oh. She came all the way from the Deerwood, and I will see that she returns with arms laden with young. After the Holoborn crisis, I wanted no child of mine born in those blighted lands. This place is a miracle. Every day I emerge from the baths as a new woman. And my first child will be as strong as an Adra pillar. I don't think that's a guaranteed result. I'm just gonna say good luck. But thanks. And luck. Going on here. Is this your first time to the baths? Um. Looks like someone needs a nap. A bed, perhaps. But there, I might have the skin and bones of a retired scarecrow, but the waters bring youth back where it counts. Right. I should go right now. Thank God. He's trying to sleep with us, and we're not going to happen. <laughs> that is a lot of naked people. There. Ah. What are you doing? Get out. Intro. Alright, so we've got this. House. There's Undin. Dying? Here in the middle of the day, and there is nobody here. Maybe we need to ask about her? Ask about her. Enjoy the baths. Ass. Now, that was a misclick. Thank you. He is. I see you brought your pain, but you need come to ease it. Pity. Oh, dear lord. All right, a venerable elf inside the water. He's some spotted skin, slightly flushed by the heat. Her is my skin on face and like her eyes open. Drop gaze will watch your pain not come. I have a lot of pain. So I'm gonna say you're undying, right? 
Er, Romero. Oh, you poxy old salt. Spill what you know before we spill your guts. Hey, hey. Seraphim, you have a rather curious method of making a request. How often has this worked in your favor? I, uh, well, mayhaps a time or two. I suppose it works best with a gun behind it. Oh, I, I think it'd be awesome with those two. Seraphim. Uh, he's smart. Oh, she knows him. Miles, oh, an expression both bad and... Romaro described you pointedly. He told me that you would come where you in danger. Danger? Nay, not I. But I do seek him, though. And I feel that he needs me. Feel it in the deep depths of my furry fun sack. If you care for him, you'll be telling me what you know. Oh, there's a good thing. Furry fun sack. He bade me not tell anybody of his plans, ye included. He's left this area. A fear to the danger he fishes on those near to him. Alright. Find him. He loves Romeo like a father. Alright, number two. He's the nearest thing I got to kin. Why didn't he trust me? He did trust you. He trusted you wholly. Die. How does your eyes work? I'll tell you. And trust you to go on best with to make of the conning. Romero treated me as galleon for mine clipper. A study trade, surely. But he insisted that he needed the speed. I can't tell you what he intends. But he set sail for Sayuka, intending okay. to replenish there. That's everything I con. For whatever good it does you. Okay. He gave up the sorcerer? And for what? An elven clipper? Makes as much sense as Doug's on a drake cap. He'd be easy catchings for any freebooter after his eye. Who's, who else is hunting? Yeah, that salty cockfast be the biggest threat, sure as shit. But others will want that bounty too. Not to mention a favor comes with it. Seems like he's trying to avoid you. Surely thinks he's protecting me. Stubborn as I seem, Captain Watcher. Romaro makes me look the dabbler. That we should hurry. Well, we should hurry. Aye, Cap, you've read my mind. And here with me thinking that were my skill in particular. Uh, thank you mightily, lass. Enjoy the baths. Soft sure travels. The wages of war catch you up soon or sign. I bet you if we had Aloth in the group, it'd be some some conversation. Because he has a similar one of his personalities has a similar accent. That could be music. That fire's so different than what I'm used to. Well, it must be for you, too. Ugh. Quite different. Even I am not accustomed to this much sailing. All right. They, uh, they seem to hold the godlike in high regard. You ever think about staying? The dukes have liberated me from the burden of making that choice, Adair. Interesting. Let's look at... The mapping. Can't take a while. Anything? Oh, there is. Our, uh... Oh right. To head to. Hey, and I know we clicked this particular a couple of times. Also need. Okay. Alright, where is he? Where is he? Killed Fate? Edler's Canal, and I ask how we. Let's head to Edler's Canal. It. Earth. The heck? Group of Pizza Base sailors approach you in this. Can I help you, gentlemen? Again, fight our way out of pretty much anything. Or, well, within reason. Tell her a moment. Tell her. 
unmarried woman. Paul Wiry Man blocks your path. Wears a sly smile as one might wear their most. Trousers. I saw you speak to my dear amico Degnos. So I thought to myself, why, Talfor, you must meet her too. Aaron Boy lost his satchel. I don't think him. What business is of yours who I. Degnos is an associate of mine. His success is important to me as it impacts my own. Uh huh. That is good to hear. So rare it is that I am glad of a stranger's interference. Would you like an escort to Queen's Bereth, Tella? You never know what rough types may be about. And I would hate to see you waylaid. I'll be on my way if you wish to follow. That is your business. A gracious offer. We accept. Per Guano, let us be off. That's interesting. Hit F5 and hit inventory. I think that would be. Yeah, there it is. Right click. Oh, that's it. You can't look inside. I'm guessing if I had said yes. Alrighty. Uh, nope person to talk to here something is gonna go wrong this is where I'm headed they follow it's Aethus, their business light of spring son of the world thou givest me life and purpose wait pause meta Egno. A cozy Della, you have found the satchel. Divus, Belfetto, this is magnificent. I am in your debt, Aimika. Truly, please take this. You do not know what you have done. Thirty-seven cut. I will reward you properly someday. You will see. Okay. Our business is resolved, and my business is my own. Ecosi, I do not have the time to talk. I must help Aveta with her inventory. No way to warn them? All right. Wait, who are you? You know, I was just thinking of a way to help the little tribal that would also screw over the Valian Trading Company. But you beat me to it. You're okay. becoming quite the asset. Not that the company needs help eating itself from the inside. Oh, let me guess. You want me to be... You want to be my best friend together we can do... Real good in the region. Sharp. I like that. Once you're coached up and guided in the right direction, I think you'll do very well indeed. If you have any inclination to aid the Huana as a whole, rather than save one pitiful village at a time, you could do worse than tour Imperial Command at the Brass Citadel. Pay us a visit, why don't you? In there. That's random. All right. That. Right, and he also needs sacred stairway. Need to talk to at least two people, if not more. Cut through the gullet because why not? It's a weird sensation. I know we're doing stuff and we're getting further, but at the same time, it feels like I'm doing nothing. But I know I'm doing stuff. Very weird. All right. Could I have a moment of your time? Of course. I know someone who works in this tower, 
an anamancer named Jokolo. All right. I'd like to see him if we could. Huh? Agresim. It should not take long. I have not seen him in many years, and I wanted to thank him. You feeling all right, Palagina? You sure you don't mean yell at him? When I was a girl, he visited me in the academy. He was studying godlike. Studying what was in our souls that made us different from other Keith. He found something in me. Something that resonated like a chime when he held an instrument near me. He said it was like this for all godlike. Different chimes resonating for different types. Sounds familiar. Oh, Diverus? Have you had such a test as well? Yes. Earth gave me when I was in Beyond. In any case, he told me it was what was causing my body to change. I begged him to remove it. He refused at first, saying it was impossible. When I told him I would kill myself if he didn't, he said he would try. Oh, God's lass. I'll be sure you were beautiful, feathers or no. I don't expect you to understand, but I was twelve. My body was changing in many ways. I have Being just... the only girl, the only godlike girl at the academy was unbearable. You have to justify anything to me. Agresima. Jacolo was not able to remove the chime, but he was able to sever it. Interesting. When it happened, I blacked out. I did not wake for two weeks. The Brotherhood ejected him from the Academy for ruining their pet godlike. They assumed I would die. I did not. Over time, I lost most of my feathers. The shape of my nose changed. It was not enough to make me fully Galbandra, but it was enough to keep me from wanting to die. Interesting. When I looked in a mirror, what I saw was not a godlike. Not something to be paraded around. It was me. Finally, me. Wow. Okay, so to get this, we need six metaphysics. Well, well we have the intellect. Not the metaphysics. I had someone who was able to help you, or you before. I had someone who was able to help you. Jacolo saved me. Without his help, I would be dead now. Thank you for understanding. All right, so let's go talk to that right away. I haven't even gotten to the DLC. Mode. All right, top of the roof. That's cooking something. Next. Fish Yakumo, Animancer, and some. Don't see the Talk to her. Hope you're keeping busy, Watcher. We're still running some small tests. Not quite ready for the real thing. What can I do for you? Looking for, yeah, for an anime. Giacolo. Ah, I know him. He has a little laboratory for himself down in the gullet. His specialty is godlike. Claims he can detect them in the womb. Jacolo rents a room in Ecosi, the hall, which is that grimy tavern down below. Why he seeks to bury himself, you will have to ask him yourself. Not many animancers down there, so he should be easy to find if they haven't stolen all his equipment. All right, well, while we're here, we're headed back to the gullet. Also look for editors. Oh look. Oh. 
supplies. Get your supplies here. Her. Hunter, do you come to serve your coin bond? Any other hobbies? I am a paladin of the Gold Pact Order. I also enjoy knitting. <laughs> we already That's talked enough. to her. Medicine? Now. Temple of... Hold on. Okay. Where is it? Better. Okay, well, I know they're in here. Let's head over here. Forsaken Cat. Hey, we're Posy. Ah, what's this? I am. Interesting. Put those somewhere? What are triumphs? Anyways, I got just inventory. Oh, uh, uh, here. Thank you. Posi, plus one to all fire keyword. Ooh, party wide effect. Party gains a reflex bonus. Fire abilities are stronger. Where was he? Is there a way to see just pets? I want to try Trixie. It's a converted to crit. Everyone moves faster. For you. Find a man of middle years inspecting a metal tool. Any you several similarly strange items on his belt, all quite like the tools one might use to a horse. Much more delicate. Where's the person? Ford Road. Also of an arquebus with bolt is visible just over his shoulder. Eyes brighten with notices. And robes similar. Faint traits of arcane energy, lift stitch to the hems and back. Good day, traveler. I see you've taken an eye to my instruments. If you've any interest in the medical sciences, you need only ask. Oh, well, then. Any questions? I'm yourself. a researcher in the medical sciences. And before you ask, no, I don't mean animancy. Neither do I mean magic, nor, gods forbid, necromancy. Medicine, medicine. Study of the kith body, its inner workings, and such. Hold on, sorry. All right. I've misgivings about magic use. It's useful, I'll grant you that. But it's a crutch. Stunts our scientific development, you understand. Makes me a bit unpopular, as you can no doubt imagine. Which is why I've got this arquebus here. Being unpopular. A patient of mine died under questionable circumstances. One morning they were fine, and the next they were dead. Someone is trying to discredit my work. I just know it. But they won't succeed. I came here to the archipelago to ah. evade my rival's attempts at sabotage. And there certainly is quite a lot of work in the dead fire, I must tell you. He teaches medicine. Watch your step. Intro. Anyone else to I priest Pati. Magranite priest build up a boulder. It just Be welcome. We gather to honor the goddess. For we must earn the strength to endure the darkest of life's battles. Uh, we're not at the best at all. believe so. It is not in might alone that Margran holds influence. There is purpose, conviction, achievement. You may honor her in many ways. Expect to see foreigners at the temples. It is an opportunity to learn. 
What good is a fighter who knows how to defend against a single enemy? If we must one day fight one another, such is Margran's will. Each obstacle is a challenge we must answer. These are whetstones that sharpen us into fine blades. Your temple? The Kira. Rain and wind is a better teacher than any priest. A fighter accustomed to comfort earns only bruises. Right. Well. There's a back. Have to talk to. I dare you to go inside. No, Temple will in eat me. Oh, I've done this before. Get one and four. Right. Need something blessed by Barith to open that for Four. All right. Let me hit M. I'm gonna go all the way over here. Citizen full of wand and talk find stuff on editors. Maybe the high priestess? Or tan. Oh. Alright, well, let's pick up the cat. What do you do, cat? Melee attacks your party receive bonus health. Accuracy? That's actually. Versus. More frequent. Well. Let's talk to him for Here for a meal. Just get in line, dear. Ain't no trick to it. Hey, there's a lady I'm looking for. Came from Deerwood. And her waves a hand in the face of the not God appeared. Oh. Short, got a bad temper. It goes by a lava mazzy. Heard of her? I know an Alava, but that ain't a surname. No? Not real warm, that one. Stop by unannounced, you get a pistol up your nose when she answers the door. Sounds like she's expecting it there. Yeah, that's a... That, that's her. So, she's living with her, uh, husband, then? Not that I noticed. Huh. Must be laying low. Just that boy of hers. Oh! How do you go Flavor in the She's got a son? Uh, how old would you say? Like a, a little boy? Broding, you saw. Broding, Jody, pulls her hair forward over her face and she hide from the moment. Nah, just <laughs> curious. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't say. It's been years. He must be a young man by now. Wow, that's, uh, uh that's something. Is he... Edders? Oh, thanks for your help. Don't you want to know where to find her? Yeah, I was just about to ask. She's in her song goat, last I heard. Got a little plot of land out there. I guess we'll look that way then. Much obliged. Uh, I wonder if it's Edders. All right, uh, who else? Dr. Wharton. I can't believe it. Is that really you? And Adair, you made it out of Gilded Vale for good, then. Don't remember him. I'm glad. A lot more might have made it out if you hadn't left them for dead. Ah. I haven't forgotten. It's why I'm here, Adair. What are you doing here? I kept to my word. I started trying to help around town like you told me. When the Holoborn curse ended, it was like... You can't imagine what that meant to everyone. We had some good years. Then word came through that the Dawn Stars were coming out here. That the Shattered God was back to being the Shining God. Places I tossed and turned about it. I 
figured there couldn't be a clearer sign. So now I'm doing what I can, handing out food mostly or delivering supplies. Familiar work, I guess. Took some getting used to, working shoulder to shoulder with Red Sarens, but it's not so hard as you'd think. Feels like I'm on the right path, toward a little piece of redemption, maybe. Oh, good luck. I, mm, I feel like doing five. But let's just, oh, let's just do five. All right, so there's no true gods to redeem. I guess you've changed your mind some since we met. Oh, that's interesting. So, like that. Get it. I never got a sign from Aethys to begin with. There was just you. If it comes down to what we can live with, I'm still in the right place. Yeah, well, we'll see where you end up in the next life. They can't redeem you, but you'll still be judged. I mean, I go to see. Oh, still a two. All right, fine. But she didn't like that. But because we've done so much, all right. Now the high priest. Put up straight altar to Guan. Her rose marker is a high priest. Probably satisfied. Prince for me. Jody, I do hope you are not getting into trouble now. Who, me? <laughs> no, I wouldn't dream of it. You're the high priest of the temple. Do swine stink like shit? Okay. Oh, yes, and you're not here to worship. Then what can I do for you? What about his other manifest? Gone's the only one that matters. And the shining oh. god's got many faces. But they're all his to wear. Divine King Widewind, he saw the dawn stars, telling him of things to come. But it's gone with Sickle and Lantern that's come to the Deadfire. Our God's returned, and he's gonna bring balance to the world. He's gonna right all the wrongs we have suffered. Gone will bring a new beginning for all of us uh, when that hour comes. Please give a damn. No more than anywhere else. No sense fighting it. The water sustains our faith, surely as it does these trees. I mean, a lot of people. Oh, yes. That's it. People. All right, so I'm just going to hit farewell. I want to do one more thing. <clears throat> um, are just a random person, I guess. I haven't, this one temple I haven't been in yet. We're going to poke our nose in their room. Temple of you know how I've been saying there's nothing more important to me than us freeing you from Barith's bonds? Well, uh. I meant that. I did. But there's uh. this other thing I need to see about. On the way, like. I was gonna tell you. Only? I'm glad you see it that way. This thing with the gods holding your soul for ransom, we're still gonna take care of that right after this woman i uh well love's not the right word but she was something to me once back in gilded vale when i was mayor of deerford i had this vision of what i wanted it to look like it was going to be what gilded vale was before the legacy and in some ways it got there i was proud of that but it didn't feel like i thought it would come to realize there was someone i needed to show it to Ilava. She'd have been about the last person left in Deerwood who'd have seen what I made and understood. Last I saw her, she was going to New Hayamar. Went looking for her there, only to find that she'd left a long time ago. Anyway, I don't expect you to understand. But I gotta know she ended up all right. Sounds like she ended up with us. Yeah, that's... that's something. Coming out of Deerwood during that time. When I knew her, she had another little boy. Just a baby. But the legacy deprived him of a proper life. I never found out what happened to him. But with the Hollowborn, he didn't have to ask. Guess he got a brother, though. You want to know where this leads? No, but I don't see a way to let this go. Least a way's not now. Last time I saw a lava, we got friendly. Now she's got a son. Oh. Uh, 
Alright, well, let's get moving. And we're gonna poke our head into the Temple of Barrett. The only place we haven't been. I'm gonna do this real quick, and then I will put a cut in here. Come closer to the altar. Come inside. The temple welcomes all to worship. Most especially you. Yes. Oh. Oh, he knows who I'm working I for. ask only for no talking. Not until we pay our respects to Bereth. To Rikuhu. Let us pray. My deity of life and death, the endless devourer who encompasses all existence, hear this prayer, this voice chiming. I beseech you, Kohopa and Tangaloa, to ready this shell for and sucking. He knows he's Purify dying. my soul in preparation for the coming of the next cycle. Digest all of my devotion. Swallow my sorrows, even the smallest swell, so I can be spit on the morrow. And Rikuhu, Bereth, my god and goddess both, the eels that churn in ceaseless cycle, the new and the next and... Oh, well, we're gonna do three from life to death to life again. Must it be? Yes. All right. I will address your inquiries best as I can. So ask. What was it about preparing yourself? Ducking. End of the turn. Yeah. I'm nearing it. Been working he hard. He knows he's. But first, I've got to leave guidance for my apprentice, the next in the cycle. Chosen to I... be wasting away for months. Can't say it's been easy dying so soon. How would you I want to die soon? Stopping, maybe you can see. I'm no death godlike. Bereth bestowed not one in my generation with a chime. Not the next, neither. A flawed messenger like me can't open the crypts. So my best chance is to die. Oh. Writing on the tomes. Liturgies. Instructions for ritual preparations. When and how. Sermons. Hmm. Some histories, too. All of this, it's our knowledge has gleaned through centuries of service. Now, I've got to leave it all behind for the next disciple. Altar. Under the temple, carved in the mountain's caverns, lies an extraordinary maze of catacombs. So I've read, they're the hanging sepulchers, burial place for ancient Wala chieftains. The bodies are protected by Bereth's best, roaming. Always. You work for us. The way is sealed by the deity itself. First check. Throw. Forward. Better. Dying. The timing's getting tighter. And there is one thing before the end. Something only one touched by Bereth can do. I bet something in the catacomb can act. That's right. I've got no hope. But you do, my eels. 
My infinity coil keeps rattling. Pendants resonating with your chime. Oh. I'd best not let this... There's a sacred text. The eulogy to Isaiah. It's been buried in the catacombs beneath the temple for centuries. Next to his champions. I need it. Of course, the tombs. They only open to the dead. Or those bearing Bereth's chime. Why do you need... It never was added to the tomes, but it holds the final clues for my death. It's my best chance. I prayed for decades, night to day and night again. Now, huh. here you are. Question. Just, I'll tell you what I can. He's Sorry? no Juana, nor a death god like neither. But he was a high priest of Bereth. His hair was a Deeran, a hunter, chasing the undead 200 years ago. Read somewhere, one tome, he sailed to the dead fire for a weapon abhorrent to Bereth. Said the blade held a power most fearful. Hmm. Rises. His hair fought hard for it, won the blade, but suffered grievous wounds. <laughs> Bereth kept him alive till he could make it to the temple's catacombs. His champions were the ones Find who more about wrote the sculptures. Him from the long forgotten time. When there was only Juana living in the mountain, they got carved in even before the temple sprung up. Before there was Nekataka or a queen. They're well guarded. All right. Because not all of Bereth's dead like the catacombs. Not to go outside. I know that. Before. All right, I've heard enough. Oh, all right. You're my best chance. Dead in the catacombs. There, not everyone's born so blessed. Mm -hmm. The same. Your world, ah. Bereth, life is coined now. All, All right, farewell. Well. All right, let's look at. We can do this. That's going to be more stuff. So let me F5 then. Yes. But this what? group, I think, would be a very good chance. Head to here. Live this button here. Thank you very much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, or comment, or come on over and check out on Twitch when I stream live. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.